morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whatever time you're watching this broadcast of Car Key Global Inc., we welcome you to Car Key Global Inc. Ministries coming to you live from the great state of Georgia. And we are hoping that you are staying blessed and welcome you to be a part of our services during the weekdays on Wednesday, Bible study and our broadcast during the week. You go to YouTube, see any of our services that you may have missed. And we welcome you to join us at any time at Carter Global Inc. Ministries. We just want to say thank you for being, um, I mean, so kind to share our ministries with others and also uh, sending us and calling us, contacting us about how you have enjoyed our services and also sending encouraging words. We're gonna to go to the throne of grace at this time. Heavenly Father, I wanna say thank you, Lord, for just being a, a way maker. Thank you, Lord, for waking us up this morning, starting on today's journey, Lord. We just wanna say thank you, Lord, for the abundance, oh Lord, of life, health, and strength, Father. We thank you, Father, Father for food on the table, shelter in the time of the storm, Father. We just wanna say thank you for blessing those, oh Lord, that stand in need of prayer, the bereaved family, those are lying on the sick bed, Father, heal their body. We know you are a healer during these times of the pandemic. Lord, you has carry us through to see another year, 2021. Father, we just wanna say thank you and glorify your name. Lift up holy hands, Father. We thank you for being a way maker for us and all for our family members, our loved ones, sisters and brothers and sons and daughters, Father, family members of all, we say thank you. Touch those bereaved family of oh, all fathers going through trying times at this time, Father. We thank you, Lord, for just lifting them up and being the footprints and the sand for them, Father. We thank you. These and all are blessed as in Jesus' name, through grace we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. We want to share with you also that you can find our information at the bottom of the screen, how you can reach us uh, for your donation, your tithes, and your tithes in, and your offerings to us at carcadeglobal at gmail.com. And if you need any other information, you can call us, our number to reach out, 404 477 or 470-477, I'm sorry, 470-418-7277. At this time, we're gonna have scripture read by Emmanuel Fitch. But today I'll be reading Psalms 95. One through three. Oh, come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise unto the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence of thanksgiving and make a joyful noise unto him with songs. For the Lord is great God, is a great God, and a great king of all our gods. Thank you. May the Lord have a blessing in hearing the reading of the word of God. At this time, without further ado, we're going to bring to you a speaker, evangelist, Dr. Kiki Michelle, Secretary Williams, come to you in her own way with a word from the Lord. And I will bless the Lord with all my soul and all that is within me, bless his soul, lead his name. 
for he has done great things. He has done great things. He has done great things. Bless his holy name. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Greetings, we bring you greetings in the precious name of Jesus. Thank you so much for your prayers. Thank you for um, just tuning in and sharing the broadcast. Thank you for letting us know you're being blessed. Um, it encourages us to know that you're being encouraged. But I want to encourage you today. Hello, somebody. <laughs> I'm so grateful to God for um, just uh, his, his miraculous way of doing things. And if, if I could share a testimony today, it would be God is. God is. Uh, I was sharing with uh, one of my sons some things. And as I was talking with him, he was asking questions. I had to really just take a, a moment and thank God for what he's doing. And I was simply sharing with him that um, some things had opened up where I'm able to uh, make decisions on which colleges, universities, high schools, middle schools, elementary schools, are accredited across the world. And just telling him, you know, son, you gotta do this, that, and the other, and stay humble and get your grades. And, and just in that conversation, I had to uh, just sincerely thank God for uh, his provision and just making ways out of no ways. And, I, and you know, I, I always think about it and I say it, I stand here because of very, very awesome men and women of God, people who knew how to get a prayer through. Um, you know who you are. I've reached out to you and I just want to sincerely thank God for those who are still praying with us and for us because there is more to come. God is in the blessing business. So um, I'll invite your attention to Philippians chapter one, verse six. Philippians chapter one, verse six. Um, and I won't be with you long. You know, I, I say what I feel God has given me to say, and I go somewhere and I sit down. Um, Philippians 1 and 6 says, being confident of this very thing, that he which hath begun a good work in you will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. If I could use for a subject today, it would be still here. Still here. We are uh, living testaments of God's grace and mercy. We are um, here, not by our own merits, but if, if you have so far survived the pandemic, then I'm talking to you. You are, in essence, still here. So uh, I'm bringing to, to um, the forefront that a life is just now getting started. I know we've already had our New Year's celebrations and I know we, um, you know, there's no certain special day that today commemorates of a new birth. But I want to share with you today that because you are still here, um, there is in essence a new birth taking place in your life. God has said, I have known you from even before you were conceived, before your parents even came together to conceive you, God said, I knew you, I called you. And, and so even though it's, it's demonstrated in Jeremiah, it still is applicable to us today that whatever it is that God has for you is now coming forth. It is springing forth. It's not dragging, it's not relaxed, it's springing forth. And because we are still here, we have to understand that what God has started in you, what seeds that have been planted have to materialize. 
And if I'm understanding this correctly, you know, the process of planting and sowing seeds and reaping a harvest is not normally an overnight process. Uh, you can talk with farmers, you can talk with gardeners, you can talk with, you know, whoever just wants some pretty flowers around their property that, you know, the process of planting seeds and then watering them and, and making sure that you're weeding and proper sunlight and, and proper, you know, there's a protocol in growing healthy food. There's a protocol in, in growing beautiful flowers. So that process, it may take a year or longer, you know, um, with the, the seeds that are planted in the ground, my God, sometimes they may sit there for two or three seasons. Uh, you, there are certain seeds you can only plant in the wintertime. There are certain seeds you can only plant in the spring and in the summer and in the fall. So whatever seeds that are innately planted in you by God, like he said, I knew you before the foundation of the world, I had already called you. I knew that you would be sitting where you are today. I knew that you would be in this space that you're in many, 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 many years ago. God said, I knew this. So because he's already pre-planted these seeds in us, and now they're beginning to spring forth, because of distractions in our world, we as humans will uh, start to think that, well, did I really hear God? You know, well, maybe I got it wrong. You know, uh, there's this, this whole um, accountability uh, aspect of things that I, I truly respect. And I think that we should be accountable for what we say and what we do. I think we shouldn't say things unless we can use integrity in doing so. Uh, so, but there's, there are times when people have been uh, told things that were gonna happen for them and because they haven't happened as of yet, the person who mentioned it to them or spoke it to them have been questioned in terms of if they're real or or if if they're fake or is this a true person of God? If this person is a, a true carrier of God's word, is this a true prophet? So I'm, I'm saying that through the annals of time, sometimes God allows those seeds to sit there and fester and germinate and strengthen underground before he allows them to spring forth. But what God has said will be, what God has determined to take place will happen. And so what, I'm, what I want you to understand today is that the perfect work that God has already prepositioned for you to do, the, the good things of God and, and the greatness of God has now come forth. And, and God is saying, be confident. Just like you know your name, just like you know your address, just like you know uh, identifying things about yourself and those that you love. You're confident in where you're from and where you're at and, and who, you, who you are. So because of that confidence, you don't worry about it. It's just something that's just a given. It's, it's something that it just comes with the territory. You know, you know your name, okay? Somebody say, what's your name? You can say, you know, hey, my name is such and such. So with that same level of confidence, God is saying, be careful to be confident in this season because the enemy will make you think and, and distract you with life and so much going on will, will attempt to make you think that the things that God has spoken over your life, God must have forgotten. Or you didn't do everything the right way, so maybe he done skipped over you. Or uh, maybe uh, what you were told wasn't for you. Uh, and see, some people think that if, if there is a word for you that somebody else can snatch it. I, I don't personally agree with that. I, I believe that wholeheartedly what is for you will be for you. Now, I do believe that when God releases his precious gifts and 
uh, his glory and his honor. And he even opens up our understanding when he releases you into where you're supposed to walk boldly into. I do believe that there are opposing satanic forces that will hold up the blessing. And now I do believe that, but I don't believe that they can keep you from getting that blessing. And I don't believe that anybody else can take your blessing. I believe that specifically what God has for you is specifically for you. We serve a magnificent God. And if we really put it to it, our existence in our minds of how great this God is, you know, some of us are barely just, you know, putting on our own shoes and socks. We, we really can't see past our own responsibilities. But I'm, I'm asking you to take a journey with me today to see how great this God is who's kind enough and loving enough to want to deal with us in our own aspects. And the thing about it is he doesn't confuse you with a sibling. He doesn't confuse you with someone who has the exact same name on the other part of the world. God is so great in his plan and in his majesty that we understand that he'll never make a mistake. We understand that he'll never leave us. He'll never forsake us. So the enemy will allow life to somehow crush us and we get distracted by the thought that we've been forgotten. And we don't really want to admit that we're going through what we're going through to get us to with the things that we pray for. You're going through what you've gone through just so that you can level up. And there was something in that process that God wanted to show you or wanted to build within you or wanted to anoint you with that had you not gone through that process, even the process of being that seed in the ground, hallelujah, sitting there for season after season, Wondering, when is it my turn? God, have you forgotten? Everybody else is springing and, and bringing forth fruit around me. And I'm just still sitting here in a seed form. God said, I haven't forgotten about you. And, and because I have always kept my word, you can depend on me to keep my word for you, even in this season. And, and see, because he's saying, I've begun a good work in you. My God does not have do anything. The things that he's doing for us and through us, he, he knows what he's doing. And it's all about God's timing. And, and I, I've just been saying it. I've been saying it. I've been saying it. It's our time. It's our time. It's our time. And, 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 and I, my faith is to the point that I truly believe that everything that's attached to your life, it's time for it to be revealed. Every good blessing, every honorable thing that God has for you. I don't care where you are, where you've been, what has happened, God said it's your time. Hallelujah. And, and see, it's a blessing in this climate to be seen and not viewed. Hallelujah. I, 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 I thank God I just celebrated a birthday. And I, I really don't understand the concept of people not wanting to say how old they are. And I'm not going to judge them, but I'm glad for every last one of my years. And I thank God for his, his faithfulness. And I thank God for even considering dirty, stinky flesh in this manner. I thank God for everything. And so I, I'm, I'm grateful for a birthday. But even in a pandemic, let's understand something. You're still here. Hallelujah. Yeah, I know you got a case of the sniffles and, and, and this happened and that happened. But if you take a moment and look at the fact that you're still here, I know your job shut down. I know, I know you had to move. I get it. But because you're still here, God is saying, I favored you even in this time. I, I, I set several blessings up in store for you just for this time. And because you are alive, because you have warm running blood in your veins, because God said, wake him up today, wake her up today. God is saying, you're still here. It's another day for a miracle to happen for you. 
It's another day for the blessings to be bestowed upon you. It's another day, hallelujah, that God has kept us. And it's time for us to understand why we are still here. You don't want to get to the end of life and try to figure out, well, what was I supposed to accomplish in life? Or why was I here? Did I, did I reach my highest potential? God is saying, I'm getting ready to restore what the canker worm destroyed. The things that were consumed around you, God said, I allowed them to be consumed so that I can burn away things that were not of me. Because when I get ready to in, in, in honor my word and elevate you people need to be able to see me and not the things that you were around my god so when i walk through the fire i have to understand because my faith is in god and not in my situation i have to understand i will not be burned hallelujah instead god is kindling away the things that were of an issue for him as to where I'm going. Because remember, God said, I've begun a good work in you. And I will perform it. Now I'm going to have them do it for you. Or let me get with this committee and get back to you. God said, I'm the source. And I'm going to complete this thing that I started in you. Hallelujah. And, and because God is so um, just, we, we, we can't even put into a certain category outside of just being just awesome and, and just beyond honorable because he is in this upper echelon because you are this, the children of God, you are there as well. Hallelujah. But when will we stand up and assume our birthright? Hallelujah. When will we understand you're a king? You are queen. When will we stop living beneath our privileges? When will we accept the fact that God expects you to be blessed and not cursed? When will we really understand that God says you are the head and not the tail? When will we actually grasp the, the, the truth of the matter of God said, when I see you, I see myself. God sees himself in you. Hallelujah. So it is indeed a blessing and an honor to be seen and not viewed. Hallelujah. Some people say, well, I don't want these people looking at me. It is indeed a blessing and an honor to be seen and not viewed. And even in this time, people are being blessed. I said, you're still here. Even during a pandemic, people are being uh, just renewed. God said, every morning, my mercies are renewed. Hallelujah. Every morning, not anything that you can pay for, not anything that you deserve, but because I love you, I've decided, guess what? Your mercies, I'm going to give you new mercies. Hallelujah. I thank God for just considering the fact that mere man is mortal. Our thoughts are mortal. Our, our deeds are mortal. Things that we endeavor to do is mortal because we're mortal creatures. However, he said, my mercy is renewed for you every morning, which means I'm going to give you another opportunity to live out your potential through my word. I'm going to give you another day to stay in my graces. I'm going to put the foot, my foot on the devil's head. And, and tell them back up, leave them alone so that you can move forward. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this again. I'm going to do this for you. Hallelujah. God said, I'm doing this for my name's sake. Hallelujah. And so thousands, just think about it. Thousands have been affected by the pandemic. Uh, but you are still here. You are still here. Every year, the flu kills millions. But look at this thing you are still here so that should be confident and you should be confident and, and, and that should give you confidence to know that god has a plan that he will bring to fruition for you hallelujah even in a pandemic some have never struggled many people are actually doing better during a pandemic than they have done ever in their lives 
some people are actually expanding and growing even in a pandemic. Some people don't know what it is to experience a lack in poverty. Hallelujah. Some people's lights have never been turned off during this pandemic. Some people have never missed a meal even in this pandemic. Some people have never had uh, to be outdoors in the cold. Hallelujah. In a pandemic. God is saying, you are still here. I have a plan. Also, please understand that if you were adversely affected in some kind of way during this pandemic, the, the fact that you are still here should give you a consolation to know that God is not through with me yet. Hallelujah. Uh, some are being blessed beyond their own ability to comprehend. Some people would never have thought that they would be doing X, Y, and Z. They would have never thought they would be in such and such place. God said, I have spoken a word and I will perform that word in your life. Hallelujah. And being a seed and having the seed of God in you and the blessings that come along with being a child of God, God is saying the normal process of, 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 of harvest God said, I've just accelerated, hallelujah. I've just accelerated your process of seed and harvest time, hallelujah. People are gonna wonder, how did you do that? Who did you know? How were you able to make a dollar out of 15 cents? God said, in this time, because you are still here, it is time for the remnant to shine. It is time for the remnant to come forth. You've been praying, you've been fasting, you've been looked over, you've been skipped, you've been ostracized, you've been talked about, you've been criticized, you've been lied on, you've been mistreated, you've been talked about, but you still say, God, here I am. Lord, I don't understand this, but Father God, help me. You did not run to your own defense. You truly, truly let God fight your battles. God said, I can use you. Hallelujah. I allow you to experience certain things so that I could be sure that you're sure that I can use you. I can trust you. See, because God already sees the end from the beginning. But sometimes he got to let you go through so you, in your mind, can draw closer to God. Hallelujah. And you can have a testimony to say, for God I'll live and for God I'll die. And no matter what, come hell or high water, I'm going to do what thus saith the Lord. God said, I allow this to happen. Sometimes I will tell you, God will allow you to be ostracized, skipped, talked about, because he sees what he has for you and is so much greater than what you would have been willing to settle for. So he allowed those doors to shut. He allowed those communications to cease such that he can do what he needs to do. Hallelujah. And the thing I like about God is he does not need our help. God does not need our help. Hallelujah. Only thing we can do is give God a firm yes. Lord, I'll serve you. Lord, I will worship you. Father, help me. That's all God needs from us. Everything else, he can take care of. And I just, I just appreciate God for Philippians 1 and 6, because guess what? He started it and he will finish it. Hallelujah. And so when God finishes it, it's not just, oh, that was cute. Oh, that was nice. God makes it grand. Hallelujah. God's getting you ready for your grand opening. Hallelujah. God's getting you ready for your ribbon cutting. God's getting you ready. And that right early. Hallelujah. You have ministries bubbling up in your seeds. Hallelujah. It's time to push on. It's time to push forward. It is time, it is time, it is time. There have been a, 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 a group that has worshiped material things. 
Yes, you were called and you called yourselves Christians and children of God. But over time, you allow the enemy to let you worship the things and not the creator. Hallelujah. So God says, I have repositioned a remnant that will serve me when they have. They will serve me when they don't have. They will serve me in good times. They will serve me in bad times. They will serve me when they're sick. They will serve me when they're well. They will serve me. Hallelujah. God said, I've positioned you for this. And that's why it may seem like your word was on hold. That's why it seemed like your seed may have died in the ground. God said, oh no, oh no, oh no. I was sending the right fertilizer, hallelujah. I was preparing the ground to receive you when I spring you forth, hallelujah. So because you're still here, you need to talk to yourself, hallelujah. We can pull everybody else aside and talk to them. You know, you need to work on this. I, I thought about this. You in this season need to talk to yourself and let yourself know that you belong to God. You are God's property. He has hand selected you for such a time as this. You need to tell yourself, for God I will live and for God I will die. You need to understand there is a mandate on your life. Hallelujah. There is a purpose in the praying for you. Hallelujah. And God is saying, it's now. Hallelujah. I, God, will not allow my word to come back void. Hallelujah. So what I spurred in you, I don't care how many mistakes you made since I started. Hallelujah. God said, I started this work. I will bring it to completion until I come. And God said, I'm coming soon. So when he's coming soon, he's got to fulfill the things that he's spoken of your life. But he needs you to understand and wake up. Hallelujah. He needs you to know whose you are. Do you know whose you are? Let's say, well, who do you think you are? Well, who does she think she is? Well, who does he think he... My question to you is, do you know whose you are? Who do you belong to? You are a royal priesthood. Why are we running around like chicken heads? Hallelujah. Why are we living beneath our privilege? God said, I called you. I chose you. I anointed you. I will complete the work that I started. In. I pray to God today that you've been blessed. I pray that you will take your religion to the next level. Take your spirituality out of the box. Get to know this Lord and this Savior that I know. I could go on and on and on about personal testimonies, but it's, it's, I want to hear your testimonies. I want you to know God in the fellowship of his suffering. I want you to come forth as pure gold. I want to see the, the, the prayers that you pray come to life. Get to know this God. If you don't know God and the pardon of your sins, you must be born again. According to Acts 2.38, water baptism, we all must be born again. That allows the flesh, the sinful, and the deeds that we've done to die. You're getting born again as a clean conscience. It's an answer to a clean conscience. And guess what? When your sins are washed away, you receive the gift of the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit, and it actually helps you to walk in the newness of life. Your appetites will change. Your desires will change. Your, your thoughts will change. You will be a renewed individual. So if you don't know who Jesus is, reach out to us. If you've not been born again, reach out to us. We are um, a part of the Pentecostal Assemblies of the World. We have churches in every corner of the world. So you can accept your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and we can help you get the water baptism. May you continue to be blessed in everything that you're doing. 
On behalf of the co-founder, Mr. Carlisle and I, we want to thank you for your prayers. We appreciate those who have helped us to help others through the food drives and uh, resources. It truly is a God thing. And so we thank you. We don't want you to go hungry in this season. And even those who don't have uh, resources that have actually uh, given up their time or they've actually uh, sent in donations, God bless you. Continue to reap the benefits of the seeds that you've sown. I declare and I decree you will be blessed. Every one, every body, anyone who blesses Car Key Global, I keep hearing, I'm going to keep reading, they're going to keep calling about the magnificent blessings that have been bestowed on them and how God shows them the source of their blessing. I'm telling you, it is more give, blessed to give than to receive, but I'm telling you there's a certain anointing when you allow God to help you, to help us, to help others. See, we don't, we don't, we're not benefiting. When we give, we're not benefiting from the, the fruits of our labor. It's all going to the people. So when so the difference is sometimes people will give to organizations and then there's really not anything available for resources to the people. And so I thank God, our vision is to bless and help the people. And when you give, you're enabling us to further our reach. You're helping us to help others. And it is in truth, it is an honor that God allowed us to have the vision and he has and will continue to provide the provision. So please continue to uh, remember your tithes and your offerings, but continue to love your brothers and sisters. Continue to uh, know that we have this great big God, he's concerned about you and he wants the best for you. Thank you so much, be blessed. Lord, here I am.
Breakthrough, 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 breakthrough. I need a breakthrough, breakthrough, breakthrough. Breakthrough, 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 breakthrough. I need a breakthrough, 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 breakthrough. Bre